So for this question here, let's start nice and simple. Anytime you're given two functions and asked for the solution, you're really being asked about the intersection. So whatever these two shapes are on an XY plane, we're looking to find out where they hit each other or to find out information about where they hit each other. So for intersections, the most basic thing you can do is get them both in the Y equals format and set them equal. So let's do that here. For the first one, we can take away K from both sides. So Y equals X plus 26 minus K. And for the second, you can add K to both sides. Y equals X squared minus 5X plus K. Now, by the way, there's a big temptation here to just take these two original equations and add straight down, and you would get 2Y, the Ks would cancel, equals X squared minus 4X, when you combine these two, plus 26. The problem with this is, even though this is kind of one of the correct things you can do generally in a situation like this, the problem is that we'd lose K. And what's the question asking us for? It's asking us for the value of K. So as tempting as that is, we want to avoid doing that and just treat it like a regular intersection, get them both in the Y equals format, and then set them equal. So let's do that. X plus 26 minus K is equal to X squared minus 5X plus K. Now we want to say to ourselves, this is a quadratic. A quadratic is any variation of y equals x squared. And this is a quadratic because of that x squared there. And you want to say that to yourself because for quadratics, you want to have the instinct to get everything on one side equal to zero, even when it's a big hot mess like this question here. So let's take away x from both sides. Let's take away 26 from both sides. And let's add k to both sides. So putting that all together, we're going to have 0 equals x squared minus 6x, and we'll have plus k and plus k. So plus 2k, let's put that at the end, and don't forget that there's a minus 26 there. So right now we have this thing organized as a quadratic. Now a real quadratic, like I said, would be like y equals x squared plus some stuff. But it's common to see it equal to zero because the x-intercept is the moment when y equals zero. And so this is kind of a quadratic in the x-intercept setup where we're saying what would have been the x-intercept of x squared minus 6x minus 26 plus 2k. That may be getting a little deep for us right now, but the point is we got it all equal to zero, which is our instinct for a quadratic. Now you need to ask yourself, what piece of information have we not used yet? And that's this one right here. There's one solution. And the number of solutions in a quadratic situation is a code for something super important on the SAT. And that's the idea of the discriminant. So the value of the discriminant, that's the part that's under the radical here, it determines how many answers you're going to have. If the b squared minus 4ac part of a quadratic situation is a positive number, you're going to get two solutions because, you know, using these fake numbers here, we would have two plus two over three and two minus two over three. We'd get two solutions. If the discriminant, the part under the radical is zero, you'll have one solution because using these fake numbers, the answer would just be two over three and there'd be nothing to add or subtract. And if the part under the radical, the discriminant is negative, you'll have no solutions because you're not allowed to have a negative under a radical. So this phrase that there's a quadratic situation here and there's one solution, that's a really familiar phrase on the SAT. It means that the discriminant, the b squared minus 4ac of the quadratic formula, which by the way, you should have memorized, that discriminant is equal to zero. That is the middle scenario. One solution, discriminant equals zero. So what are a, b, and c? This is in the format of ax squared plus bx plus c. The a is the invisible number one in front of x squared. The b is the negative six in front of the x. And the c is all the other stuff. Negative 26 plus 2k. So having a c coefficient that itself is made up of two terms, 
That's really common on the SAT. So let's go ahead and start solving. B squared, negative six squared, minus four times one, which is not worth writing because when you multiply by one, nothing happens, times C, which is negative 26 plus 2K, all equals zero. So negative six squared is 36. And we have negative four times negative 26, which is positive 104. And we're distributing. So we went here. Now we're distributing negative four times 2K. And that'll be negative 8K equals zero. Combine some like terms. 104 plus 36 is 140 minus 8K equals zero. Go ahead and add 8K to both sides and you'll have 140 equals 8K. And we can divide both sides by eight. We'll get 140 over eight, which simplifies to 35 over two. And that is our answer to this question.